acting well. The pullback continuing on the NSC. What's your perspective on the kind of activity we're seeing right now where mentions being made of attention diverting towards the fixed income space as investors opt for more secure investment instruments? Well, good morning, Alicia. Thank you for having me. Well, um, what's going on um, on the Nigerian boss as we speak is actually um, a result of the herd mentality, which has actually um, been one of the characteristics of our market in the last um, few years. Now, if you notice, following the upsurge in the market we saw in January, the market has been on the decline since the beginning of February. And essentially, um, to an extent, we, we have been able to see a, a correlation, a slight correlation, between um, what's happening in Nigeria and um, the crisis in Egypt. Essentially, it looks as if um, the offshore investors, who are actually the primary drivers of the Nigerian market, are a bit risk averse regarding equity uh, market in Africa and indeed in Nigeria um, in this case. Um, because as we speak, ordinarily, we actually have about um, the, the trades on the, being executed on the bus. About 70% is actually coming from offshore and 30% from the domestic investors. And the domestic investors in this case are the institutions, given that the retail um, um, segment of the market has been wiped out following the crash in 2008. Now, the, the, the institutions are essentially the PFAs who are obviously, who have been inconsistent in the last um, few months. And essentially that's because of the upsurge in the activities in the bond, corporate side of the bond market mm -hmm. in, in Nigeria. For example, the, the closure of the Chelerams PLC bond in December 2010 and the ongoing um, um, several other corporate bonds being, um, being seen in the market right now. All of that having been said, there's also a lot of nervousness, as I was saying earlier, around the banking sector in Nigeria, that despite uh, the central bank governor's comments last week that ignited some uh, optimism over the short term. To what extent are you getting nervous about the recapitalization progress on that end? Well, um, the issue regarding nervousness has always been there regarding the, um, the banking sector. Um, the key thing is that confidence needs to be restored. Now, over the last um, um, one year um, that the, where we've been looking to recap recapitalize these banks, a lot of people have remained nervous. However, the central bank has remained faithful to its promise to um, uphold these banks. Now, the key thing we understand is actually that um, a, a handful of the rescued banks, at least three or four of them, are very close to concluding their, their M&A transactions with the potential investors. Now, there may be one or two issues here and there which we strongly believe will be resolved subsequently. However, the issue of nervousness doesn't arise. For example, yesterday, the market uh, mid-trading, um, the market has actually lost over 100 basis points. However, there was a turn in the market when um, First Bank um, stock actually went on bid, and suddenly a lot of other banking stocks went on bid, albeit we actually saw the, um, the, a few of the rescued banks um, closing lower on, on the day. Regardless, it, it shows you that the banking sector will still remain the bellwether um, um, sector in the Nigerian boss. Regardless of the headwinds that we continue to face, we strongly believe that these are issues that really can, need, can be overcome and then confidence will be restored and then we'll move forward. With that being the case, are you then sticking to the tried and tested within the banking sector or are you venturing into some of the rescued uh, players that could stand on the threshold of a turnaround here because surely now's the time to be getting in on the back of that prospect? Well, we are 50-50 we are, we are, uh, on that. We are sticking with the tried and tested ones and we strongly believe also that um, a few of the um, nine rescued banks will outperform the market this um, this year. I mean, they are coming from a zero base, and it's obvious that these are stocks that will definitely outperform once the issues regarding the recapitalization um, can be resolved. And it's it's only um, it's it's a no-brainer. We believe um, strongly that some of these um, rescued banks will outperform the market this year. What's a stock pick for you within that sector at this stage, if you had to pick one? One, in the banking sector right now, we, um, like we've been mentioning, we actually like Sterling Bank. We believe Sterling Bank is a, a niche player that has a clear-cut um, um, focus on where it's going. It's not trying to be all things to all men. We like its fundamentals. Its ROE is probably one of the highest in the banking sector at about 20%. It's trading on a forward PE of about 4.7 times um, 2011 earnings. It's doing a price to book of about um, 1.3 times, which is actually way low um, than the 2.0 um, average of the banking sector. We like that stock because, I mean, recently they actually came out to say that they're going to be operating as a national bank. Mm -hmm. So like I 
said, they are not trying to be all things to all bank, to, to all men. They, they, they know their niche, they're focused, and their fundamentals actually speak for them. At the Tola for the trading day ahead, anything specific that you've got your eye on? No, but, but today we, we actually expect um, a milder decline, if, or, even if, I mean, that's if the market doesn't um, return. Um, rally today. Um, this is because um, uh, uh, based on the activities that happened yesterday, the market actually turned around yesterday by about 30 to 40 basis points, for, which were negative uh, of about 1 point something percent decline yesterday to close about 0 0.97 percent. So today we expect the rally to probably continue. Otherwise, we probably will not expect to see the, uh, the, the level of decline we saw yesterday.